Hi, George here again. What we're going to do in this video is look at oxygen monitors, oxygen analyzers. Now an oxygen monitor or an oxygen analyzer is a device when placed in a gas mixture analyzes the concentration of oxygen inside of it. So where we use it mostly in the hospitals is to analyze gas concentrations, particularly with high flow systems that patients would be receiving. So if you're using a ventilator, for example, there will be an oxygen monitor built into the ventilator somewhere. If there isn't, you need to add one. If you're using a high flow system, typically we'll probably have an oxygen monitor before the humidification device on our high flow system. So again, an oxygen monitor or an oxygen analyzer measures the concentration of oxygen in the gas mixture that a patient's going to get. So I've got an oxygen monitor here to show you. There's a lot of different brands of oxygen monitors out there. Now, I said oxygen monitor and oxygen analyzer at the beginning of this video. There is a difference, albeit uh, we, we tend to use these devices uh, you know, interchangeably. Now, what quantifies uh, an oxygen monitor is that the oxygen monitor has built-in alarms. So it will analyze gas concentration, but it also allows you to set alarms for high oxygen concentration or low oxygen concentration. An oxygen analyzer doesn't. It simply measures the concentration and displays that concentration for you. Now the basic components of an oxygen monitor and an oxygen analyzer are the device that, that displays the result or the oxygen concentration as well as a sensor or a probe that would sit inside the gas flow. Sometimes you might have this cord, but it could also be a singular unit where it just has the sensor and the display device. Okay? So this sensor gets placed in line before humidity. So if you have a ventilator or a blender or an airbo or something like that and you want to measure the concentration, always tee this in, put this sensor in somewhere before the humidification device because the humidification that comes from that system will affect how oxygen diffuses across the membrane in this thing and could, alter, uh, could uh, display an incorrect oxygen concentration. Okay? So that's the first thing you have to know where this goes. The second thing is, when you're using an oxygen monitor to display the concentration, you should calibrate it beforehand. And the calibration means we're going to do a two-point check, a low calibration to 21% oxygen and a high calibration to 100%. And the reason you want to do that is that when you're using this device, you also want to make sure that it's going to record, not record, but uh, analyze and display the results correctly. Okay? So the sensor, the monitoring device, on the back somewhere, there's probably going to be a place where you would put your batteries, and it might take a 9-volt battery, it could take a couple of uh, AA batteries, what have you, but there'll be probably some sort of monitoring, or sorry, battery uh, source on the device. might have a holding bracket so you can mount it on a, a ventilator or on a high-flow system. The fuel sensors themselves are disposable, so expect these things to go on you. What I mean by go on you, I mean expect them to wear out at some point in time, and when they do, well, this just isn't going to read too well. Okay, so the oxygen monitor, oxygen analyzer. Monitors have alarms built into them, analyzers don't. Sensor supplies the, or analyzes the, uh, the oxygen concentration and the amount of reaction that occurs in the sensor correlates to the oxygen concentration that the device displays. So that's pretty much oxygen monitors, oxygen analyzers. What we're gonna do in the next video is I'm gonna show you how to do a two-point calibration. We also call them two-point linearity checks. So what you need to do before you use an oxygen monitor or an oxygen analyzer to analyze the oxygen concentration in the gas mixture the patient's going to get. Till then, hope you have a great day. No matter where you are in the world, if you like the video, thumbs up. Didn't, thumbs down. Give me some constructive uh, criticism how I can make things better for you. Till then, this is George out. Have yourself a great day.